Hello and welcome to Shipreneur OBC One Africa Business Radio, the show that spotlights African women succeeding in their craft with a view to understanding their processes and celebrating their ingenuity. So, welcome to the show. On the trivia today, we continue the conversation on building self-confidence. And today's tip is motivate yourself. There is a story where I come from that when the lizard falls, it gets up, nods its head and continues climbing. The nod symbolizes the lizard praising and encouraging itself to keep going. Sounds funny, right? (laughs) But the truth is every confident person has learned the art of psyching up themselves and believing that they can do it. You're never going to feel confident if you have negative commentary running through your mind and telling you that you're not good enough. So the best way is the only way, which is to cheer yourself on. The show continues after this break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Shira segment. You're still listening to Shipreneur with BC One Africa Business Radio. And like I always say, a Shiro is a hero without a cape. And today we have a Joella, a certified life coach, emotional intelligence and neuro linguistics programming practitioner who studied petroleum marketing at the Petroleum Training Institute, PTI Delta State, and postgraduate in marketing at the Lagos State University. She set up Beam Beats Concept in 2006, where she specializes in designing gemstones, goldsmithing, and training. A recipient of numerous fashion awards and also recognized as the illuminator in the coaching industry who lights up lives to unleash potentials and achieve goals. Welcome with me, Bimbola Balogu. (laughs) Ah, <laughs> uh-uh, you want to see yourself me <laughs> welcome 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 thanks for coming on the show so Thank today we're going to be talking about uh the use of gemstones basically yep. and uh, we know a lot of people use gemstones this day so i want you to give us like a definition what are gemstones what are they okay um gemstones are natural and valuable minerals that combined with uh, beauty, uh, durability, hardness, and the rarity, you know, because they have to be rare for mm. it to be considered a gem. Know. Yeah, sure. Mm. It's not something that I just find anywhere. You know, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So what piqued your interest in gemstones? Um, I'm sh- I will say that it's like, uh, it's kind of accidental, you know, it wasn't something that if I, when I started jewelry making, I felt that I was too... I may never be able to do um, gemstone designing because I felt um, it was too expensive. You know, when just the perception, you know, the way people rate gemstones as if you have to have um, some millions of dollars mm, for you to be able to exactly, go into the market. Wow. You know, but then I had um, a colleague of mine who, 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 you know, used to talk about stones and I just, you know, found it very interesting. Even though I've been working with stones, I didn't know I was working with stones. You know, I was working with, I've been working with um, natural pearls. Okay. It's a stone. It's a precious stone. Though or, or, um, organic. Okay. What's, yeah. What's the difference? What's organic? What's, <laughs> I don't know. What's the other one? Okay. Um, while the gemstones that you're thinking about, like the rose quartz, the onyx tiger eyes, the they're from the earth like what i mean the earth um they they were formed from very high temperature and pressure okay you know pearls are formed from from animal oh yeah natural pearls from oyster oh yeah and another kind of um uh pressure stone is coral yes that's the one we use here yes there mm. is also from from a coral reef even from animal that's mm. the truth yeah polyps mm. yeah mm. They're, they're microorganisms you know the foam pearls um a coral. corals wow. yeah you know so i mean i consider them precious stones because they're not things you just find anywhere you know, yeah and the the, the nature the way it, uh, in which you know the the their method is precious 
I mean, what is precious? <laughs> 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 you know, so I consider them, and most jewelers consider them, you know, as uh, precious. Yes, stones. yes. But what we're talking about now, I mean, pre- uh, I got into it not knowing I was already doing it, but then I needed to start working with the quartz, you know, the, um, uh, the rubies that you know, sapphire and all of that, you know, so I, I, I got interested by one of my colleagues and then one of my clients that would say, Bimbo, could you, um, string this quartz for me, this rose quartz, this, uh, and, and, and you're I wondering. Was wondering, <laughs> how did you guys even, you know, memorize the names? Because there's so many of them. Even, I'm, I'm sure nobody can ever t- say all the gemstones in the world. In fact, there's so many. Yeah, they're still discovering more. new stones yes hmm. and even naming it after you know uh, maybe the uh, the uh, the environment in which that the, it was discovered yeah, exactly yeah hmm. you know so um so i met someone who came to my studio and said wow you do this do you know that um, you can find all um stones in um thailand and all of that and Anyway, I posted my visa and I got to Thailand and I just saw, to look for I, stones. I'm telling you, Chineke. I was blown away. away. Wow! Yeah. And guess what? I got there. They said, um, "What part of the country are you from?" I said, "Nigeria." Everybody said, "Oh, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria!" Stone, 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 stone. Do you know? I went my for the first time. I didn't know that we had the fact that they were shipping stones from Nigeria to to Bangkok. Wow! I didn't know. Wow! And I said, wow, I could have, you know, I could have f- f- found a way to buy stones and you sell know, here. Sell. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that was my first time. So I bought, I bought already cut stones because I didn't want to go through the process of buying raw. Mm. They come in here to find how I'm going to cut it and all of that, you know. So I was able to, in fact, it was like a new fresh of breath air. The moment I came back from Bangkok, my business changed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, so I started learning all the stones. If I got someone um, who taught me a few, you know, when I when I got to Bangkok and uh, the art of the silversmithing, you know, so and that, that was how I started. So what exactly do you do as a, a gem smith, a <laughs> silversmith or a goldsmith? What, what's the job? <laughs> Okay, um, goldsmith is working. I mean, you goldsmith is, is a precious metal. Mm-hmm. So when you say precious stone, there's there are stones and they're metals. So uh, precious metal stone, um, gold and the nine to five silver, platinum, you know, and all of that. So diamond, no, you know this. Eh? Precious, no, no, this. <laughs> <laughs> precious stones are different from metals. Precious metals. Metals. Okay, you got know. it. So, got it. Um, as a goldsmith, I work with. You know, uh, gold, carat gold, which is a precious metal. Yes. Okay. And um, ninety-five silver. Silver. When I mean ninety-five silver, it's actually silver. But um, ninety-five means ninety-two percent, ninety-two point five percent of silver. Mm, okay. Because I mean, all this is need to be okay. And natural silver is soft. So for it to be hard, you need to add some alloy. Okay. So the it. alloy is seven point five. The remaining seven point five. Mm. So it's the alloy. Even when you say um, gold, gold, there's eighteen carat gold. There's twenty four um, carat. Yeah. So eighteen carat gold is the seven fifty. That's seventy seven seventy five percent of gold. Then the remaining twenty five percent is the alloy. Okay. Yes. To make so, it strong. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, as, as a goldsmith, all I do is just to design. You okay. know, design. You work gold. with fire. Yeah. And sure, all that. Well, of course. They, they, you break yeah. it down. So uh, <laughs> I've, I've never. I think I have to come to your workshop one of these days to take a look at how mm-hmm. it's done. You know, it's not. I, I thought. You know, I was before I became a ghostmaid. I was just. I just love the fact that I just love the finished product of gold. Yeah, everybody. I, did, I didn't does, know actually. that to, to make gold, you have to go through fire. fire. <laughs> Wow. You have wow. to go through fire. Wow. The meal, you know, the meal is there. You you cut, you file, you pierce, um, you forge, you, you, you melt. Wow. You know? That's a lot of heat. Yeah, a lot of heat. Mm. But at the end of the day, you it don't comes go, out beautiful. You don't think of the things that you have gone through. <laughs> what you focus on is the end the product, beauty. the beauty. Mm. 
mm. you know. So what are uh, gemstones used for? What can they be used for? Hmm. Um, of course, the jewelry, beautification. Mm-hmm. Now, they are used for status symbol. Okay. This is status symbol. Yeah. Royalty. Hmm. You know, we think of Queen of England. Don't think of anything else than than gemstone. Mm. Don't think of anything else than the height of of the um, fresh water pearls, natural pearls. Mm, they use a lot of pearls. Don't think of anything apart from precious diamond, emerald, sapphire, mm. ruby. Yeah, mm. it's as a symbol of royalty. Like yes, mm. this is I'm wealthy. How how do how I do get I show? Day. How do I show that I'm wealthy? It is true gemstone. Yeah, true. You know, so then apart from that, when you have your your gemstone on, like I have so on my wrist, and you realize how they are formed, they are formed through very high temperature and pressure, and they come out this way. So one way, the one of the reasons I wear my stones, I'll tell you much other reasons, is that. No matter what I go through, hmm. because these stones have gone through hell. Hell, fire. Fire. <laughs> I'm coming out beautiful. Hmm. I like that. Oh my God. Oh. Hallelujah. Just somebody. <laughs> yes, somebody. I like that, sister. Yeah. Because no matter what, because, I mean, you can imagine in, in, in a limited space, in fact, there's no space. Hmm. They go through, you know, the way, I don't know if you know how Ignos Rock is formed, you know, because there are rocks. The heat, intense, intense heat. heat, very high temperature and pressure, and each of this uh, at some degree, a particular quartz is, produ- uh, is formed. Mm. Another, at another degree, yeah, exactly, another one. That's how it, it is. keeps so, going. And guess what? When you now find those things, you cut them, you tr- you make them into something you know valuable like this. It's telling you that when you're going through hell. Relax. Omo, you are coming out. This too Strong, shall pass. I'm wow. telling you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. On that note, we'll take a break. And when we come back, we ask Bimbola the powers gemstones have. Stay with us. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. You're still listening to Shipreneur OBC Ubo and Africa Business Radio. And I still have my guest here, Bimbola Balogun. And we have been having a conversation on the importance of gemstones. So let me ask you, um, do gemstones by themselves have powers or do we have to give it an intention? You know why I'm asking this? We see all over social media, people are coming out to sell some things like blue-eyed beads. If you want favor, they sell this stone. If you want husband, they sell another stone. If you want partner, you want to collect somebody's husband, there's a stone for it, you know. (laughs) Is it the stones that carry some of these powers or is it the intentions that the people put? Can you explain to us some of these things? Okay, what you see on social media is not not gemstone. What you see is... It's called blue eye. Okay. Blue eye is not a gemstone. Okay. What is it? <clears throat> it is. It, it's from. Um, it's just. It's just the belief system. Hmm. Belief is very strong. Yes, it is. So now somebody, you know, um, an influencer, came and said, "If you use this, it's going to. It's going to, um, it's going to enrich you." You know, give you favor, give you favor. You find husband. I mean, it's it's belief. Once you believe it, then you will find your you find favor. You find husband. Mm. Yeah, belief wow. is very strong. So blue eye is from, is it Turkey, Turkey or Egypt? You know, it's a tradition. You know, the blue eye is actually a bead. It's a bead. Okay, it can be used with a plastic bead, um, acrylic or um, plastic bead or metal. There is usually an eye there. Okay. So it's just is is believed that the eye sees the world. Okay. And um because the eye sees the world, the eye sees any kind of negative Evil or that's pleasant coming. situation that may come your way mm. and 
Avatis. Oh, yeah, it's a tradition in Turkey. I think Turkey, uh, I'm sure about Turkey, and I'm sure about uh, Egypt. Egypt. Yeah, those two, those two countries. Yeah, you know, so it's not a stone. You can create your own blue eye. Oh, There's with no, anything? No, yeah, you can't. Just get a blue pearl or something and just... Pearl? No, you cannot use it with... Uh, no, don't pearl. attach <laughs> I should not attach <laughs> <laughs> No. I should get plastic. <laughs> no, it's not that you get it. It's already done. Oh, okay. You just yeah, buy it and then... You just then... buy it, oh, yes. Oh. Mm. People have also accused people uh, who use a lot of gemstones as witches. What do you have to say about that? Um, You see, everything is... Everything, let, me, let me start this way. You can use... Um, oh, give me an example. And you know, everything has the good and the bad. Mm-hmm. What's this law called in one of the universal laws of um, everything? Yin has yang, two, yes, two energies exactly. Yeah. Not two energies, I mean, there's Posit- good, there's yeah, positive, there's up, negative. there's down, yeah. there's you know, yin yang. So, what you have, what God has created for good intention, can also be used as evil, evil, mm. Mm. you know. So, I mean. Anything, for example, um, what other example can I use? Some people use, you know, the way the sun is, we cannot do without the sun. Yeah. People use the sun as evil. People use the stars as evil. The moon. Yeah, the moon, all those things, you know. So it's not that. It's the, are, the, mm, the gemstones that have yeah. the issues. It's mm. just the intention. Yes. So, mm. and it's also belief. Mm. So if you believe that this is what it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to do that, you know. Yeah. So I also know that you have, um, uh, you train people. Yeah. On this, mm. and um, how how does that work? How do if somebody wants to train on the YouTube? No, I, I don't train on gemstones. I train on jewelry designing. Okay, what's yeah. okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, so how how designing. do people so come we to have you? The online training and the, the physical training. Okay, yeah. So okay. all you just need to do um, there's a link on my bio. Okay. Just you know, um, oh. fill the fill up uh, the link and I will get in touch with you, or you just send me a DM. Hmm. You're also a life coach. How yeah, do you absolutely. combine your gemstone business with teaching people on how to have confidence, believe in themselves, blah, 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 like all the things we used to say? How do you yeah. do that? You know, um, it's so amazing how from your passion, you're able to, you know, get to your uh, purpose. That is my own case. You know, I realize anytime I teach, you know, uh, the act of jury making, m- most especially women, you know, during the process, you know, you just find out that they just say things, they just confide in me. Mm. You know, they say, um, I've talked about the marriage, the finance, you know, every facet of life. And, um, I just try to, uh, you know, profess solution. And somehow my solutions have been, not none of it has, you know, come against me, mm. <laughs> you know, and then um, they come back to say thank, thank you. Thank you. And apart from that, somebody else has told me that uh, I have the tendency for people to tell me their secrets. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't know that that was the strength that people don't just tell people anything that mm. you, I don't know. I mean, I just, there's an that. energy, there's a sort of vibration you give yeah, that people maybe. can easily trust. You. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And I felt, and apart from that, I love to teach. I love to impact, not just impacting jury making. You know, I just know that there's a lot more to me than sitting down making jury, mm. you know, and uh, I just, and, and apart from that, I also saw it, you know, God brought it to me in the dream. I said, now I have to do something about it. So, mm. and the, the the best way to go about it is just to go for life coaching and NLP course and other courses. Yeah, you you're know. still doing. You people need to explain to me how God comes to speak to you people because I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm, me, I'm waiting for my own call. No, you just you ask. Know. But let me let me ask you: How lucrative is this uh, gemstone business? Hmm. Mm. You don't want to talk. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> As you are speaking, gem, gems have been import, ex, is it exported out of the country. Hmm. Hmm. It's a cabal. Wow. That exporting is a cabal. You cannot break in there. You cannot. Hmm. Hmm. Over lucrative. Wow. Yeah. Do you have plans to break in and, you know, do the business at that level, not just as making designing the gems yes i do so apart from my first trip to finland that i felt oh so i've been traveling so i just i i i accumulate my stones i mean i still do that whenever i'm in touch with um, stone gemstone sellers so whenever i can buy i buy i store so when i'm able to travel 
and I travel on self. Hmm. Even within, people just call me sometimes, link me up with someone, and they give me my percentage. Yeah. Now, wow. <laughs> there are businesses in this life. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So how can we reach you, people who want to find out about gemstones, hear you, teach them, train them, and anything? On my we... Instagram or Facebook at Beam Beats. Beam Beats. B-I-M B-E-A-D-S. B-I-M B-E-A-D-S. Okay, Beam Beats. Yes. That's please. it. So once they send you a DM, you're there yeah, to respond. Sure, I will. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, busy. Wish you all the best in your future endeavors. When you become that big woman in that you know gemstone cabal I'm please big. i want to use some of them to design my dresses <laughs> <laughs> so thank you and that's it on ship right now with bc when africa business radio today if you have any suggestions on how the show can be better send a dm to africa business radio on instagram or you can also send a dm to bc ubo b e c w e on instagram at and we will you know respond and we will learn and we'll make the show better for you till i come your way again next time Bye-bye.